If we assume that no creator was involved in the origin and history of life, then universal common ancestry simply must be true. Are there any tests for common ancestry? Or is universal common ancestry simply assumed for philosophical or methodological reasons? When you consider um, origins, there are two things you have to explain. The many similarities between organisms and the many differences. Uh, ancestry addresses the organisms. Uh, ancestry addresses the similarities between organisms. Because you can say that, well, two or different types of organisms have the same feature because they inherited it from a common ancestor. And if they did inherit it from a common ancestor, well, that would explain why both of them have it. Uh, but, uh, and, and that's true, and that has persuaded many people. Uh, but there are two things that it's a little bit of a circular argument. And the second thing is that it, uh, it's a really pretty uh, easy line of, of uh, thinking because all you have to do is say that some feature was there and it didn't change. It was just there. Uh, Darwinian uh, natural selection was the attempted uh, explanation for how the differences arose between uh, organisms. Um, I think common ancestry, as a matter of uh, practical fact, is taken as an assumption by most scientists today. Very few scientists are even willing to entertain the possibility that uh, life on Earth has multiple origins. Um, one um, common aspect of life that many scientists point to uh, as a kind of a unifying feature and as support for universal common ancestry is the existence of the genetic code. Now the genetic code in organisms is essentially identical uh, for plants, for animals, and so on. And, and the scientists say that if this was inherited from a, uh, a common ancestor, perhaps some simple single-celled creature a long, long time ago, then that would explain why all creatures uh, have it. Uh, one little fly in the ointment, however, is that in the late 1970s, the genetic code was discovered to be not quite universal. It turns out there are organisms that use somewhat altered uh, genetic codes. And one could then uh, question whether the genetic code is, in fact, a, a, good, uh, a good support for common ancestry. And I think one could still make that claim, but it's less secure than it was, uh, was before. Um, and uh, it, it, the idea of common ancestry, again, it, it's a, a, an assumption. I think it, it uh, should not be an assumption. Uh, in science, we should, uh, everything should be open to question. And when new data comes about, such as the variation of the genetic code or, or other things, particularly problems in embryological development that seem to point in the opposite direction. We should try to deal with those things uh, as honestly and as forthrightly as, as, as possible.